do believe that you need to do uh, both print and interactive design experience while you are in school, primarily because when you are working, whether on your own or with a company, your employer isn't going to make a distinction. If you're the graphic designer or you're working in the graphic design department, if you're good at what you do, you will find that people will come to you throughout the company and they'll ask you to do things. I think it's important to have both skills in print and interactive. It would be naive to think that we're, that digital is not going to be a part of your life, that, that you're not going to be faced with some sort of interface. I do feel it's important to have both print and interactive design experience. Um, oftentimes, you will work with other people uh, or collaborate on a project that includes both if you're not responsible for both. So it's important for you to understand what the responsibilities are, not only of the designers, but um, also the requirements of the work and whether or not that you'll be able to produce that on your own or require assistance. I think exposure to both is good, but I know that I made a conscious decision to uh, pursue only the interactive side of things. I, I think choosing a path can really help you to become an expert in a single area to really, to really excel. It's hard to be a jack of all trades and be great at all things. It's much easier to, to excel in one area if, if you're more focused. When we started Metropolis 18 years ago, I would have said print would be the stronger thing. Now I would go exactly the opposite. I'm not advocating that print is dead, but um, it's certainly not as strong as it used to be. I definitely think it's important uh, that they have print and interactive experience, but I don't necessarily think it's mandatory. Um, I know some folks who are print designers who are doing very well and people that are interactive designers and are still doing well. Now, I think there are more doors open if you know how to do both. Um, there's more money to be made, more opportunities. So if you are a person that can handle both disciplines, because they are two different disciplines, if you can handle both disciplines, print and interactive, I would definitely say go for it. Absolutely. Um, our field has definitely changed these in these days. You know, when I was in school, you sort of, print designer was all there was. Of course, now you can move on to be a coder a developer, you know, there's so many different possibilities. I think having a good knowledge of how to design for print, how to design for web is a must. I know that I had a learning curve um, with web design in particular, being an older individual, just learning about the usability um, of websites versus being upset that you couldn't current the type. I absolutely think it is really important for them to have both print and interactive uh, design, mostly because a designer is expected to do a lot more than very specific, very niche type of skills now. Like, I don't know of any web designer who only does design. I know most web designers do design as well as code. I know a lot of print designers also know how to design for the web. I also know that they know how to animate, they know how to design for apps, they know how to design for software. Print and interactive design experience, absolutely. Um, smaller teams are, are really demanding what we're calling unicorns, uh, you know, someone that can do it all. And, and we know that no one can do it all, but uh, know as much as you can. It helps to have at least an understanding when you're working with uh, other teams. The more you can do to cross over your skill set and to do it successfully and to do it willingly, the more you will be sought after, valued, and become indispensable.